Hello my good people it's Liliana Kim once again and we are back with a new interesting video and to my returning subscribers I thank you for your continued support to the new viewers thank you and please consider subscribing for this is the home of the best and the simplest recipes and without further ado let's get started yeah and i started by uh, washing my yellow beans because today i want to make african dish that is dairy in my country language the main ingredients that i will use today is uh, is yellow dry beans together with the fresh uh, maize so and as you saw earlier in my video i already washed my yellow beans cleaned them very well and because i i i don't want them to take a lot of time while boiling them i am i decided to to that is to soak my beans for around one hour or two hours if you have a lot of time but for me i'm only going to soak my beans for around one hour then uh, i i continue now uh preparing my maize that is removing the, the the corn from the cob yeah and this is what i am doing Yeah, as you can see guys I'm done with the with the removing my 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 that is my cones from the cob now the next step is washing these mains you clean them well then after I take my beans that is after like one hour or so of soaking these yellow beans you can see uh, they have turned the, the, their color that is they look a bit soft than they were when they were dry I mix the the mains with the with the beans just make sure you rinse them thoroughly because you need to make sure they they are clean then after i have my pot here that i'm going to be using to boil my my dairy yeah so please guys i want to request you you stay tuned till the end of this video because it's going to be an interesting video and as you continue watching please if you like my video give me a thumb up comment share to your friends and for my new viewers please consider to subscribe this is after like uh, now like after around 40 to 45 minutes and my dairy was was already cooked and uh, for me i always remove the the soup that is inside the dairy after boiling to avoid a lot of uh, acid from the the beans and this is how my dairy looks like after boiling. 
because when you soak your means your beans it doesn't cook for long only that to 40 minutes and your gideri is is done so please guys stay tuned we are get to the, the next interesting part of this video yes boiling my dairy uh, now we need to, I need to prepare it and uh, the ingredients that we need in this step is uh, carrot the, the coriander leaves the red pepper and green pepper coriander stems the onion that I had uh, chopped the maggi cube only one the butter the garlic that uh, all together with the with the chili pepper green onion the potato only one I used one big potato a black pepper that is powder for uh, I have salt I have oil here that is canola oil I have tomato paste black soy sauce uh, corner seasoning uh, soy sauce and lastly I have delicious mustard sauce I will put just a little so please guys continue staying tuned and uh, enjoy as we prepare our dish. Let's get started. Mm -hmm. We put on our banner. Okay, well, I'm going to put three spoons of this. Because I will later use a little bit of Butter. chili red pepper Potato. After covering for like three to four minutes, I check. Okay guys, let's check if our potatoes are ready and I can see they are very ready now. I'm going to, to add the tomato paste to this potato. Just make sure you mix, mix everything. Then the next step, we had our dairy. We mix. Just cover for one minute. to stir my dairy just check how it is doing and at this point I'm going to add uh, 
just leave water and then increase some heat and then uh, cover okay next I stir my dairy then I'm going to be adding this coriander stem green pepper and red pepper carrot green onion I had a little bit of black pepper pepper that is powder my dairy then cover now cool. at this point I'm going to add uh, some little water tablespoon of butter Dairy. It's ready. You can see. The only thing that is remaining is garnishing our dairy with the, the coriander leaves. And I'm going just to put like this and the mix. is all for today you can see the gideri is ready I'm going now to serve just some for me yeah because I can't wait to test this yam gideri that I just made yeah Yes, and now you can see my very turned out very nice, very yummy, very delicious. Yeah, and I can't wait to test this today. So, guys. Thank you for staying tuned and for watching my video. If uh, you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you have not subscribed. Share my video to your friends so that they can also enjoy this good and simple recipe I have. Yeah, and uh, that 
is all for today. I want to say goodbye. Till we meet in the next video.